Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. TFA Away Days, once again, another weekend, we're on the move. Always surprising the backgrounds and switching up on you guys. But, oh boy, do we have a lot to talk about today because EA have gone and done something I don't know if any of us really imagined. Yesterday we mentioned a 99 overall shooting stat boost EVO. I didn't expect that to be so crazy, nor did I expect EA to drop one of the better SBCs we've had in a long time for the price and the fact that you can upgrade it. Guys, all of that plus one of the craziest store packs I've ever seen, not telling you to open it, but it's just crazy. The market has been destroyed. It is like done. It was a huge crash yesterday. This Benzema, I sold for 737,000 coins about four to five hours before content yesterday on Saturday. This card's now 500k. Yeah, market's down bad. We need to talk about it. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. We also had to look into what's coming today on Sunday. Is the market going to keep crashing? Is it going to stop? Let's get into it. All right, guys. First, with the SBCs, let's talk about this Rafa Marquez because... Um, we knew he was coming in this promo. We didn't know he was going to be an SBC. And we didn't know that he was going to be this good. Well, let's face it, right? This card face value, 88 shooting on a center defensive mid or a center back. That's kind of cool. But 92 defense, 91 physical. He has medium high work rates, four star weak foot, and he's got anticipate plus, which is what we always look for in defenders. This to me looks like an incredible center back, but also the fact that he is a CDM with long ball pass and Tiki Taka is really nice too. He has aerial. Really the only play style he's quote unquote missing would be intercept. He is La Liga, which is great for links, and he's only 320,000 coins. This card without an Evo that can upgrade it further, I think is a great SBC, but that is what makes things even sweeter with this card for 320,000 coins. Again, like we mentioned, which 320,000 coins in this state of this game, right? With how many squads do you have? Four squads here. You've got an 85, six, seven, and an eight. That is not very hard to do, guys. EA is literally just handing out fodder every single week. You can do, you can do weekend league, champs qualifications, division rivals rewards, and play all the games and get the objective packs and probably craft this SBC. Not even kidding, right? And you've got the 83 times 10 that is out as well that was dropped yesterday too. To craft it, that SBC is an insane W. Even though if you're like, Nate, I don't know if he fits my team, if he's good enough to fit my team, or if I really care about that card, I, that's a must-do card, in my opinion. For the stats, for the card you get, he's going to be insane in-game. I need to do that SBC. I will be doing it. And again, the 83 times 10 that is out is helping the craftability of that SBC for sure. I haven't done any of these yet. I need to get on and do a few. It's the usual 83 rated squad with an inform inside of it. You go to the market. I always like to look when we get a new pack SBC on Saturdays. I always like to look at inform prices. And I think yesterday they were maybe right around 30,000 coins. They're up just a smidge. I don't know if they were higher than this earlier, but they're right around 31,000 coins. If you have invested in informs, I would say this is your time to lazy list them and lazy sell them. I don't know, maybe list for like 35,000 coins. The price could creep up a couple thousand coins depending on what SBCs we would maybe get today on a Sunday throughout the rest of the week. I think that listing informs into the mid to high 30s is a decent spot. Now, if we get something crazy that comes out that could push informs up even further, then you would want to readjust your prices. But uh, that was the SBC content that dropped yesterday. Now, let's talk about the EVO. Well, first of all, we'll mention this, right? The theme of today's video and the theme of the game right now is market crash, right? This Rafa Marquez is crashing a lot of center backs and some midfielders, but mostly center backs, in my opinion, from what I see in prices, because this card, I think a lot of people see as a center back. Not that he's batted as a DM, uh, but I think center back is probably where he's best suited. Also, want to point out a stat on the card. 99 shot power, 99 long shots. He doesn't have power shot play style, but you're outside the box if you're playing him in the midfield or even if you just want to have a hit from range, he's got the ability to do that. Now, let's take a look at the Evo, which probably that Marquez card is one of the most favorite Evos for, right? This isn't the new Evo we're going to cover, by the way. This is the Heroic Chronicles, guys. He fits the Evo. This is the one that we mentioned and we showed you just a little bit earlier. This is why I said to wait, especially after the first day of this Heroic Chronicles Evo being released. 
he is probably the top player that fits into this Evo. Um, of course, there's not very many that do, and there still could be like. We've had an attacker with Aloe Weirin. We've had what EA labels as a midfielder on his position CDM on the SBC itself. It says mid, like on a little crest in the SBC section. So maybe there's still a defender SBC to come that is going to be a Golazo hero, and they may fit this uh, evolution as well. But I think Marquez is probably the top, one of the top two cards to fit into this evolution. Crouch looks fun too. I'm maybe going for Dempsey just for the USA vibes and the links. But that Marquez is an incredible, incredible option if you want to put him into this free Evo. It actually helps out his card a lot because he gets plus three passing. Uh, or plus four passing, which takes his free kick accuracy from, I think it's like 80 something up into the 90s, and he's got dead ball plus. So it's always nice to have somebody with dead ball plus in the team. That Marquez is looking like a really, really good SBC. Now let's go to the crazy Evo, where guys, again, we knew we had leaks that an Evo was coming that was going to boost something somehow to 99 shooting. But like, this is wild, okay? Not only does it boost your card to 99 shooting if the player fits the requirements you also get finesse plus and you get power shot regular trivella and chip shot regular in the whole progression this for 75,000 coins might be one of the best if not the best paid evo of the year 99 shooting like there's only, I think, one other card that's had 99 shooting. Podolski's the only one that I remember with 99 shooting stats. And I haven't used this card that much because literally all he can do is shoot. But, like, man, this is going to be able... You're going to be able to take somebody who is full meta, especially with some of the Evo combinations that I want to show you guys here in a second, that you can create with the, uh, the Birthday Magic and other Ultimate Birthday Evos that are out with this club 99 shooting evolution. And you can create some insane players now some of the players that i was wish now that i would have been able to put into this i've already put into other evos but like this evo is fantastic for putting players in that maybe you've already evolved like this mukhtar i was always wondering how am i going to get his shooting boost all the other evos don't boost the shooting well here we go because i can put this mukhtar into this evolution somebody who i've evoed a couple times already this year just kind of wanting to bring him up with the power curve right He's going to go to 99 shooting, but then I can also put him in to the, the Jack of All Trades Evo or Birthday Magic, get him a second play style plus, get him to five star, five star, and boost those stats up a ton. Guys, there are some unbelievable cards. This Carlitos Vela that I've had in my club for ages now that I haven't put into any Evos, I can put him into this and then put him into the Birthday Magic Evo, and he's going to be five star, five star with 99 shooting, all of those play styles. Unreal. Like this Evo is crazy and this is really hurting on the market prices of attackers strikers wing players are down like mad because whenever ea gives you the opportunity to get somebody to 99 overall in an individual stat you gotta take that opportunity look at this matoma with finesse plus and rapid plus 93 pace 99 shooting 94 dribbling five star four star this correa card i think is one of the more popular ones that people are trying to get done of course it's difficult to get some of these cards right because this Correa he's definitely extinct on the market the 85 rated card it's not like you can pack him from really anything um maybe the weekend league rewards packs those are those campaign picks though I think are too high rated to have 85s in them um I forget what the rating is in those picks to be honest but look at this Correa 90 pace 99 shooting 92 dribbling with finesse and rapid plus like a lot of the cards that are in here are a problem. The Felipe Anderson card looks absolutely nuts. The Rodrigo double combination as well. Again, guys, a lot of these cards, if you get the gold version, like for Rodrigo here, you can put him into Club 99 shooting and then the Birthday Magic Evo. Get those two play style pluses, the 99 shooting. Unbelievable card, right? That's just, that's crazy. Five star, four star as well. This is an unbelievable, unbelievable evolution. Even Gold Ronaldo. Like, if there was a Gold Ronaldo that I was going to Evo, I would do this. Power Shot Plus. Power Shot Plus with 99 shooting? This card's going to be broken. And Finesse Plus too, even though the rest of his stats are so mid. That's a card that I look at and I'm like, I would try that, right? You know, because 99 shooting is just crazy. I don't know. Maybe I'm over the top with this Evo a little bit. You guys know that I really enjoy Evos, and some of you guys don't enjoy Evos for sure. But when I look at this, 
I look at this as like, this is a must do. I mean, get 75,000 coins some way, somehow, either upgrade somebody who's already in your club or um, find some sort of, this, ev this evolution is out for how long? It's out, you have 20 days to find a way to get somebody into this that looks crazy. Whether you're gonna do some other evos first and upgrade somebody to get them pretty cracked, then put them into this to get 99 shooting or something like that. You can have a player with one play style plus, you know, 86 overall, stuff like that. Whatever you gotta do, find somebody to put into this. It's gonna be a 75,000 coins well spent because 99 shooting like that is when you look at the 99 shooting stats too it's not going straight 99 all the way down but like okay well for vela it almost is 98 penalties and 99 everything else it, there are some specific boosts i think on the end games so you might not have every single stat at 99 but that is broken at this stage of the game like we don't see 99 stats on shooting even at the end of the year like they don't give out 99 rated that often so guys that's crazy i can't speak about that enough i'm super excited about that evo i think it's well worth seventy five thousand coins and it is definitely making strikers crash like the benzema that i talked about this one's 730 all the way down to 500k um charlton even the impacts cards we're going to talk about more market and look at the, the price crashes in a second but these prices are down horrendous on attackers as well because of that evolution. Now, let's go back to Footvin and look at the mini release. We had the mini release yesterday on Saturday. We had Big Bro Van Persie, who is dirt cheap at 125,000 coins. We've got a Sol Campbell center back card, um, which who's 440,000 coins on the market. When I look at that Sol Campbell and then I look at the Rafa Marquez that is in the SBCs, I'm like... I'm doing that Rafa Marquez SBC for cheaper than Sol Campbell, and that's a way better card, in my opinion, especially after you Evo it, right? That's just my opinion. I think Sol Campbell looks good. I think that Rafa Marquez looks better. We had a little bro and a big bro version of JJ Acocha. The big bro is 5'5", only 200K. Love that. And then we have a little sis, Prinz, and she is the cheapest 91 rated card in the market right now for like middle 30K range. It's absolutely nuts. Uh, so that was the mini release that was released yesterday. Nothing super crazy, but there are more cards in packs now because of that. Now, with those new cards in packs, I want to go to the store, guys, all right? Because there is something absolutely crazy going on in the store. I'm sure you guys heard about it. And I have to imagine that this is also contributing to the market crash being as crazy as it is. This is the pack, the Supreme Golazo pack we saw this pack code when it was added earlier last week we saw the 85 plus times 60 that is the main part of this pack like it's unreal okay you're guaranteed 190 rated or above it is expensive 650k 3500 fc points i'm not going to tell you to open this pack because opening packs with coins especially of this like 650k is a lot or 35 dollars worth like I'm not a huge proponent of store packs. They're way too crazy out of this world this year. And it really is one of the reasons why I think a lot less people are enjoying the game this year. Just to be completely honest, and as we get towards the end of the year, I'll start to share more of those thoughts. And as we head into FC25 and stuff too, think about that. But back to this, guys, the reason this pack is literally disgusting is because look at those percentages. 99% chance of packing a Golazo hero and a 92% chance of packing a Golazo Icon. You show odds like that to anybody in this game, if they have anywhere near 3,500 FC points or if they want to spend that or 650K, that is tempting because you're basically saying almost guaranteed chance you're packing at least one. When you think of the pack itself, an 85 times 60, like you're going to get so much high rated fodder as well. By the way, high rated fodder, even though this pack is untradeable, high rated fodder is absolutely destroyed. It's even down further because EA keeps putting out these crazy, insane, untradeable uh, packs that are in the store that people open. Instead of going buying and fodder that fodder off the market, they just open this pack right here. Like this is crazy. I saw multiple packs yesterday where people were tweeting out multiple Golasso heroes and icons in the same pack um i think i was even fifa romania posted a tweet or retweeted somebody who packed um it was like Cruyff and two other insane cards in the pack and of course that pack's untradeable but look at what it is even doing as people are selling off these cards from the team that is in packs aloe wayron yesterday was two million coins 
He's 1.3. Um, who else? I sold Colaire for 590 yesterday. He's 370. I talked about selling Jabi Alonso and I sold him on my YouTube video yesterday for 800,000 coins. He's 580k. Cafu's down 500k. Charlton's down like crazy. Berbatov was 330. Now he's 190. The drops on these cards were crazy. And I think it really does have to do with that store pack a little bit as well. Because with a store pack like that, yes, a lot of people are going to buy that with coins or sorry with fc points for sure but also there's going to be a lot of people that just go out and they rip that with their coins and that is people trading in coins that is market buying power and they're basically turning all that those coins are going away and they're turning that into untradeables right and cards that they cannot sell on the market so that is honestly crazy that that pack was dropped yesterday it's out one time for the whole week if ea refresh it we're going to see the market drop probably even more just because of the craziness of that pack. And yeah, guys, it is that is one of the three things that is destroying at the market, right? Let's look at some more price drops and some more market drops. This Sadio Mane, here's just one off, right? I sold this Mane yesterday for 847,000 coins. He is currently around 690K. This one was just 690, it's now 715. Like the market is down horrendous. I could show you guys graphs. Of course, the Golasso cards are down like crazy. We expect that, but the out of packs cards especially the strikers and the attackers and the center backs look at militao this guy militao let's open this link in a new tab right he was i believe 800,000 coins or darn near 800,000 coins i think on friday let's just look at his yesterday graph what was he yesterday 750 750 for militao and he's 498 or he just was 450 right like, that is unbelievable. That's a card that's out of packs, by the way. Uh, foot birthday regular cards. Again, the center backs and the strikers, I think, are getting impacted the most, but the whole market's down terrible. I sold Osaka last night for 1.8 million. He's 1.3. I'm, I'm actually losing a few coins on some cards. Um, I had bought Osaka again. I'm losing like 100K here. I bought this Rashford for 900K, so I'm losing like 50K plus tax. Um, and I have some Marco Royces that I bought around 180 that I've just been lazy listing. He's not really down that much. Um, so I'm losing a little bit here. We're still up for sure overall. But like, guys, again, we could just look through the market all video and look at prices that are down horrendous. This Rodrigo, because of so many people doing the Evo, he was 1.1 mil. He's now 780. Araujo was 1.4 and he's now 900K. All because of... Uh, the Marquez, right? But then you have some other cards that aren't, aren't impacted as much. Rafael Varane, still 2.3. It's down a little bit, right? This Kevin De Bruyne, 1.58. I don't know if he already rebounded or what happened there, but that's not that low for him either because he's usually around that price range. Raul's 1.3. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ian Wright's 300K. He was 500,000 coins a couple days ago. Unbelievable. Let's go one more team. Let's look at the foot birthday icons. I can imagine this is happening to like the fantasy cards. Actually, you know what? Let's look at fantasy cards real quick because there were, again, games yesterday that were being played for fantasy upgrades. Sorry, this is loading slow because the Wi Fi here is not as top tier as other places, but it suffices. Um, I saw that Delict was down crazy. I saw that Gundawan's 199K. He's down bad um, because. He did not get any more upgrades. I'm going to go Fantasy Team 1 because I know Delict and Griezmann are down terrible. Griezmann's 1.2. Whoa. Delict's 600k. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, honestly, um, this crash is crazy. And it's most of it is brought on because of the crazy content that we had. And I'll say this all the time, guys. I'll never get upset or at least too upset when I lose coins or when a lot of us lose coins because the content is good when the content is good and we lose coins i can deal with that okay 920 for araujo nah man some of these cards i'm gonna have to buy at some point because they're just gonna get too cheap I, it's just gonna be all about timing the lows that's one thing you can do in this sort of market is you can try to time out the lows and say oh my goodness man that araujo is a really rare card and he's down crazy or this fantasy antoine griezmann like you're talking about an antoine griezmann card that's He's better than a lot of the Evos that you can create. And he's got that Finesse Plus and the Technical Plus Wombo combo. So you've still got some really insane cards that have dropped off a lot that people will say, wow, I want to use that because they have not been able to afford that um, since he was a lot ex more expensive and now he's dropped. But like some of these drops, which the lick looks like he's going back up because he was just yeah, 699. Maybe we can try to snag a bid here on Delict for like 670 or something or maybe an undercut because... 
he's rare and he's probably going to bounce back up a little bit as that card's insane. But uh, yeah, I will never complain too much when the market is losing value because the content is good i will say as we just mentioned watch out for opportunities to trade and watch out for opportunities to flip because like we just saw with that araujo there's going to be times where a car just gets too cheap like the fact that just went on this just went on bid for 970 but then this is sitting here at 920 like 1.3 mil down to 920k that's like that's got to be like a 30 percent drop so I'm going to keep my eyes close on that. That that might go back to 1 million, 1.1 million coins, and I'm, I can make a cheeky flip out of that. But it's risky because it's all about the timing. So enough about that. Guys, the market could actually keep crashing because it just seems like with the content that we're getting, it's not stopping today, guys, because we have some news and information that, yeah, last week's hero pick wasn't that good, but it's being replaced with an icon pick that is going to include future stars icons so you're talking future stars dino you're talking future stars man how long ago was that promo i'm already starting to forget some of the icons that were in future stars uh there were some big ones though and the fact that they're being added as some of the newest icons in this game to oh my zidane zico beckham Oh my goodness, how could I forget those guys? Yeah, Maldini, Carlos, who was an SBC, but Rooney, Gerard, those are just some of the latest and greatest icons that are going to be added to this player pick that is going to be more people wanting to go and complete an icon player pick, right? So this should be an SBC that is dropping today. Sundays are always our like icon or hero gamble pick day. So we're watching out for that for sure. And you might be like, Nate, can we invest for this? Can we invest in some fodder or informs? What is going to move on the market today if an icon player pick like that drops? Well, I will tell you this. If an icon player pick like that drops, guess what's probably going to drop? A lot of the meta cards that were dropping yesterday, the market itself is probably still going to be continually devaluing in the next day or two just because, again, people are going to be spending coins to go and do the icon player pick if it's cracked, if it's a decent value. 87s are 9K. 89s are 21,000 coins. Wow, that is the cheapest exchange. That's insane for exchanges as well. That's crazy. That is crazy. 90 rateds are 30k flat. Okay, that's that's nuts. And then 91s are 40. So they're dipping back down. If I'm looking at an icon player pick like this today, that's going to include the fantasy or the uh, fantasy future stars. I mean, in it, I'm still looking at an icon player pick that's probably going to be what I don't know, two to three, probably three to four hundred thousand coins. A lot of these better icon player picks to like 350k so if you wanted to try to invest in anything i would say 88s or 89s like you're hoping for maybe an 88 or an 89 rated squad and if you get an 89 rated squad inside of that icon player pick 90s actually might move this is the type of sbc that could make fodder move the question is is it going to move enough to actually bring you profit with how crazy the state of this game is like would I go buy Julie P, Pascaro? She's not getting any more upgrades. Um, her card's right at 30,000 coins. She is one of the cheapest 90s in the game. Would I still go and buy this for today's SBC? I don't think it goes up more than like one or two or maybe at max 3K and then it's not even worth it for the sale, right? Again, if you're going to go for fodder today, I would probably go for the gold cards because even as we saw on Friday, right? Holland and De Bruyne, those 91 rated, they had a bit of a bounce when uh, the big SBC dropped on Friday. So you might have a bitter, you might have a bit of a bounce uh, on some of those cards as well, but I think the golds would be the best. So if you're gonna risk it on fodder, maybe you go there. Um, yeah, wow, unreal, man, unbelievable. Prince 94 is the cheapest 94 rated card in the game. She's 80k. I think that's her minimum price, though, right? 80k. I don't even, I can't even sit here and say that that's a buy because she's literally minimum price, but she is the cheapest 94 rated card. If we get more SBCs like Mia Ham, guys, there's still a chance that Mia Ham could be coming out today and that could move some higher rated fodder too. If we get Mia Ham and she's anywhere less than probably, what's her price with everything dropping? She's still around 1.6 or 1.7. If her SBC is less than 1.7 mil, then I would think that your 90s and 91s might actually bump up a little bit. There's definitely going to be some high rated squads in this Mia Ham. We'll see how much EA value that has. Again, I still think they're going to overprice this SBC. There's a chance that this comes out today along with the Icon player pick. Wow, what a market we are in right now. It's really a good market to be untradeable in. I know a lot of us run mostly untradeable teams anyway. 
but like wow prices are just absolutely mudded man it is crazy the amount of drop off that we had yesterday so i think that's the biggest two things to look forward to today is the potential icon player pick that's more of a guarantee and then the mia ham that's more of a potential not 100 percent sure but could be dropping type of uh sbc here pretty soon too you know what 1.2 mil for this at alho man araujo is araujo man all right i'm not gonna pay attention too much to the market today because it's a busy day um for me ooh, 680 for delict oh i'm gonna miss out on some good trades here and i really want to buy some of this stuff but i'm personally not going to be on a lot so i'm probably not going to buy much of anything if anything today busy day for me um also guys if you're in the usa or anywhere where time clocks changed clocks change in the uk today so content will be back to its quote-unquote normal time for us, I'm in Eastern Zone, so it's been 2 p.m. for like past three weeks. It's gonna go back to 1 p.m. content today because today, March 31st, is when the time does change back for the UK. So, yeah, guys, I'm glad to have not lost too many coins. I'm sure a lot of you guys have lost coins though off of the crazy market crash that we are experiencing. But once again, it's because the content is good. We've got a cup to play with decent rewards. I'm not even gonna be able to play weekendly this weekend. Uh, but man, I would be playing if I could. There's new cards to try out. There's fun stuff to craft. There's player picks that are still out. 83 times 10 is out. W, man. EA, Golazo promo. This Is this the new normal? Like, this is supposed to be a down-ish promo, right? Because what birthday was crazy. This is supposed to be a step down, but it doesn't feel like too much of a step down, like, overall. I know there's less cards in packs, but just... Wow, this is crazy, guys. So let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments and uh, maybe what player you're doing in the evolution. I would love for you guys to tweet me some of that stuff. I love seeing the evos that you guys come up with. But that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Back in the normal setup. Peace. Out.